See, there's always a way to enjoy yourself in the Bay Area, even on a gloomy day like today. Well, there is something charming about bed and breakfasts, and as I discovered recently, there is one in particular, Madeira Beach, that has theatrical charm to it in a very unique way. This one is... One of life's philosophies is to try not bring work home with you. But what happens if your home is work? We've got the best of both worlds. Have a nice business and lots of nice people to deal with, and, and we live in this gorgeous place. What more could you want? Well, not much more if you are TJ and Susan Gill. A longtime St. Petersburg residents moved to Madeira Beach over two years ago to open up their dream. I wanted to put the volcano in the parking lot and she wouldn't let me. And retire. Well, sort of. As retirement dreams go, Mario, it's a lot more dream than it is retirement. <laughs> yeah. Their dream? It's a bed and breakfast. And it's more than just a bed and breakfast. We'd like to think of it as a Florida experience. Their Florida experience reflects their own experiences on the stage. And on Golden Pond is one of our favorite rooms. Because each one is a little bit different, uh, but each one has, uh, it's very personal for the two of us because it represents a play that we've done. A total of 26 in all, it all dates back to 1981 when they met while auditioning for Neil Simon's Chapter 2. A marital production of their own two years later has led them to their current project, the Snug Harbor Inn, where rehearsals have been replaced by rehabbing, but with the memories of the past. Each room has props used from each of their plays. People have different ways, of course, of marking their lives. That's the way we have marked our life, by what show we did. And what about any potential theatrical accommodations in the marina? All these boats behind you here, any African queens? <laughs> uh, no, no. Martin, as I mentioned, TJ and Susan have acted in 26 plays. Their plan is to, of course, act in 26 more, and who knows, <laughs> they might have to get a bigger bed and breakfast if that's the case.